Hello everyone, this is Shinobi, once again with another Awaken Kyocera video. At the outset, let me request everyone to please like and share my videos and subscribe to my channel. It helps me to grow my channel and also encourages me in making more videos. Alright, that being said, let's look at today's discussion. Okay, so we are looking at the Void Tower Hard over here and you will see that the rune marks are the same as that of previous month's rune mark. So you will see that uh, the first rune mark starting from round 7, heroes will receive lightning strike at the beginning of each round that deals true damage. Lightning strikes damage increases with each round, ensuring that we are going to die. Okay. And the second rune mark says enemies take 50% less damage from all sources and gain increased damage taken to upon receiving control effects. So when controlled enemies deal 200% increased damage. So uh, in order for you to deal more damage on the enemies, you have to place control effects on them, at which time they'll be taking increased damage taken too on themselves, right? Uh, and secondly, if they are on control, they are going to deal 200% increased damage on you. So basically, these uh, Void Tower hard rotation requires you to have AOE damage dealers, uh, it also requires you to have someone who can CC the enemies. It is very important that the enemies are CC'd uh, in order for them to, uh, you know, get more damage on themselves. And CCs, it seems, uh, whenever you are doing the crowd control on them, they will automatically gain increased damage taken too on themselves. Okay. Of course, Florence over here can place the same buff, uh, sorry, same debuff, which is an added benefit. But you will require someone like a Tia or like a Luna Melissa in order for you to get that increased damage taken too on the enemies. Like you can see over here, all the enemies now have the increased damage taken too on them. So if you look at the debuffs on them, you will see that they have this low speed. Just because you have this low speed, doesn't the frost spy there, doesn't mean that they are going to get that increased damage taken too. Okay, you need to place that freeze on them. Okay, uh, so that places the increased damage taken too on them. Or you can use Florence to take that increased damage taken one, the basic increased damage taken on the enemies. So you, you can use a combination of Florence and other crowd controls in order to deal more damage on the enemy. If you are not placing those, then they will be taking 50% less damage from you. So that means it's going to be very difficult for us to actually beat these dungeons. And so I'm not really sure if uh, Awaken Chaos Era's decision to continue with the same rotation is a good thing or not. But from the chats that we had with Blue Bull in, especially uh, Real Twitchy, you must have uh, seen his Twitch channel. Please do visit Real Twitch's Twitch channel. Uh, he was the one who raised the question to Boolean, asking him, asking Boolean uh, why uh, the rotation is the same as previous month and what Boolean said that it is going to be the same. Uh, and he also asked the question whether it will be for the same for the future months. And Boolean said, yes, it's going to be the same for future months as well. So. Basically, we now know that all the Void Tower rotations are going to be the same for future, at least for the near two or three months. I'm not really sure because they have not made an official announcement. They have not sent any in-game emails or posted anything in the official Discord. I cannot be 100% certain whether the next month is going to be the same rotation or not. But from whatever we have gleaned from the, from the chat, it seems like the rotations are going to be the same. So it would mean that you will require area of effect, area of effect damage dealers and area of effect crowd controllers. So if we look at uh, the index, oh, where is the index? And search for heroes that can do crowd control. So let's look for someone who can do crowd control. Okay, crowd control would mean silence, stun, frozen, don't. The rest are not crowd control. Okay, you can also have sleep over here, but sleep would mean that they're basically coming out of the sleep as soon as they take any damage, so it's better not to use that. Okay, so let's look at that. So these are the people who can actually do it, and that's what you require. So you can see that I do not have most of them. 
the most of them that i have are epics and most of them that you're seeing over here are not someone who, who from whom you can get 100 percent uh crowd control like you cannot get guaranteed crowd control from any of them and you cannot get guaranteed crowd, crowd control in the sense that as an aoe effect right so there are very very few heroes that can deal aoe crowd control one of them is this guy over here so virgil he can do aoe silence that is great but he's he's, he's just doing aoe silence okay so they are going to do their basic damage um and they're going to deal whichever hero that they chose to or whichever is the weaker affinity to that enemy but the best one over here is Luna Melissa. So she's the one who's going to be used by everyone. And she can taunt everybody. And she also has got a 40% chance to apply taunt on for two turns. Right? So she can deal taunt to everyone. It's a guaranteed taunt. As long as she has focus, you will get that taunt on everybody. And 40% chance that the taunt will be for on two uh, sorry for two turn on at least on one person okay so she will be the most valuable player when it comes to dealing crowd control on the enemies the next one obviously is going to be virgil you can also use as i'm using as i was showing over here you can also use tia but she's only going to deal frozen so her chance to apply freeze is 80 percent okay it's not 100 percent it's still there is a chance that she will not be dealing the freeze on the enemy but what i have done is that i have given her a, a rebel set so she's on a um what do you call a stun set so that would mean that she should be able to deal at least she should be able to steal deal sorry at least stun somebody one person among the entire group and freeze as many as possible so i have given her a stun set uh, she does have quite good stats on her even though the crit damage needs to be higher but uh you need to have good focus on her when it comes to uh void tower hard you will require at least 120 focus so if you have 120 focus that should be sufficient the rest should be given to crit rate and crit damage 100 crit rate um, as much as crit damage as possible uh, and of course she should be at least if not the fastest at least the second fastest i've given made her the second fastest just so that whenever uh, florence does her ultimate she's able to uh, tia is able to take two turns instead of just one so that's why i have made her the second fastest and then obviously i do require aoe damage dealers uh, Sierra is good for her passive not because she's an aoe damage dealer but because her passive can deal the aoe damage which is really good uh, and uh, natalie is obviously a really really good uh, even though she's not an aoe damage dealer i wouldn't say she's an aoe damage dealer but because her ultimate can deal damage to multiple people based on the number of puffs on her uh, she can be treated as an aoe damage dealer but she cannot be used on uh, on a average set and then i'm using my of course my valeria so those are the heroes that i'm using you can change your heroes depending upon what you have but basically what they are saying is the strategy is going to be the same so you will have to build your crowd control hero you will have to build your aoe damage dealers you cannot change uh, your gameplay like you used to do in previously uh, it is kind of good as well as bad i think like there's pros and cons to it one uh, the cons are obviously that you do not if you do not have the kind of hero that is required to beat these dungeons uh beat these white tower hearts uh then you will not be able to do it if you do not have luna melissa if you do not have tia if you do not have uh other aoe crowd control effect uh heroes then you're going to lose you're not you'll not be able to finish it so you do require it but the pros is that if you uh the positive side of it is that if you have one of those heroes like if you have luna melissa if you have the aoe hero obviously everybody mostly everybody would be going after natalie so mostly you, most of us would have built our natalie if you have uh aoe heroes like evera or valeria you would have had built that uh valeria or uh, evera any one of those two 
would be quite good. So if you have them, then it becomes easy for you. You just have to build one team and whatever hard is the same. But yeah, of course, uh, as far as gameplay is concerned, as far as my personal opinion is concerned, the, uh, you know, the fixation of rotation would mean that whatever hard would become just one of the routines. There's no, there will not be any more interest on it. Like if you have built a team, you're going to deal damage on the uh, enemy. You're going to finish it off and that's it. And, but this also, this change also makes mythic almost impossible to complete. Right? You have to be a real good whale with really, really good stats, really, really good heroes in order to finish off Mythic. Whatever Mythic is going to be really tough because the Lightning is going to deal damage on you every seven rounds. And yeah, obviously that's going to be a problem. So uh, from a content creator point of view, I would say the change is not really good for me because I will not be able to make contents, right? <laughs> Once I finish off making content on this whatever hard rotation, that's it. It's finished. You can see uh, see the same thing and do the same thing every single time. At the same time, from a player's point of view, in order to farm those extra, uh, you know, resources to get that uh, legendary portion, um, yeah, it's easy. Now I can easily uh, do it. Once I build the team, it will be the same thing every month. And then I just have to do it once, put it on, on auto or do manual. Uh, and then finish off the Void Tower hard rotation because I have the team built for it. I do not have to worry about changing the gear or I do not have to worry about finding other heroes or what shall I do this rotation? What kind of rune mark is there? How will I counter that rune mark? I don't have to worry about it because I know the rune mark is such and such. And then so I have built my team for it and I can finish it. So from a player's farming perspective, getting the resources from Void Tower hard, it has become a routine kind of job. I don't know how good that is. Comment on the video, post it in your comments. Let me know how what you think about the fixation of the rune mark, like making it permanent. I don't know. Everyone will have their own opinion about it. If you have the hero, you'll have positive. You may have positive effect for uh, opinions about it. If you do not have, you will obviously not be happy about it because you will now have to look for that new uh, hero for yourself to de finish off the void of a heart. So let me know your comments. Uh, what do you think about it? And of course, you have seen the team that I'm using. Uh, you can use either Tia or Luna Melissa to do the control. Uh, and that should help you out in finishing off the Void Tower Hard. If you want further uh, information on the team build or their gear, please let me know. You can also watch my previous videos on Void Tower Hard of previous month, which shows the gear and all the stats on the hero uh, on the heroes. You can use those stats and the gear that is there, uh, similar gear that is there and finish off the Void Tower Hard. So yeah, so that's it from me. Let me know what you think about this. Um, you guys have a great time. Peace, love and blessings from me. Bye.